Hold up. Are you sure we're on track? According to the doctor's map, positive. All right, then. Let's move! Professor. Don't you think we should consult Dr. Hughes before proceeding? Forget Hughes. I'm in command here now. Move it. Could they be? Close to turn back now! There it is. Marvelous specimen. Oh. It's beautiful. Absolutely magnificent. Peters, dig. Here? What are you waiting for? Dig. OK. OK.
Barker here. What the? Okay, all right, I'll get right on it. Goodbye. Oh, Bud Black. I am finally gonna bury you. You're gonna screw this story up, like always, and then I'll be rid of you forever. And then we'll roam with my piece anyway. <laughs> I love this business. Oh, yeah. Dinosaur Mike. Ah, what a waste of good ink. Bud! Hey, how the hell are you? Yeah, yeah, no, sorry I haven't called. Uh, it's been a little slow lately, but uh, I got a big, juicy story for you. Now, listen, I got one word for you. Dinosaur. How's that grab you? Well, yeah, I know it's different, but we're changing our image around here, and I wanted you to have the first big story. Great, great. You got a pen? Okay. Now, here's the details. Yeah, uh-huh. Bear. Yeah. Got it. Cool. doing oh hi um, i'm bud I'm, I'm looking for um professor uh professor, professor campbell yeah i hear he's uh digging up something pretty exciting here yeah well this is a restricted area and there are no photographs allowed that's right mr black so you can take your camera mr black you know this man yes i read his article if you can call it an article on ancient civilizations in time magazine He's just another paparazzi looking for a free meal ticket. Time Magazine. Very impressive. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Black. I'm Dr. Campbell. This is my lead assistant, Holly. Hi. Yeah, pleasure's all mine. So, Doc, I understand you unearthed quite a discovery here. Well, I must admit that it's the largest unearthing of its kind. Ever. Really? You think this would be a good story? I'd bet money on it, Mr. Black. Mankind has never seen anything quite like this before. Wait a minute. So just how big is this creature? Dinosaur, Mr. Black. Simply put, 50 times the size of T-Rex. Whoa, 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 50? You say 50 times the size of a T-Rex? Are you serious? That's incredible. This is going to be a good story. Come, have some iced tea. Iced tea? Yeah. Iced tea. <laughs> oh, freaking believable! That's incredible! I'm glad you approve. This is big, Mr. Black. The dawn of a new era. Satellite deploy is go. Stand by for OMS burn. Control, we are reading an unidentified radiation spike. Can you confirm? Come in, control! Omega-2. Base control calling Omega-2. Omega-2. Omega-2, please respond. What's the problem, O'Neill? We lost it. It just vanished into thin air.
I feel to hurt you. You must stop this excavation at once. You shouldn't interfere, Dr. Hughes. You desert our team for two years, and suddenly you appear. You're the Dr. Wendell Hughes? You are correct, Holly. Doesn't it just break your heart to see such a great mind, once a leader in the field, reduced to this? An old, senile man who would take great pleasure in sabotaging my greatest accomplishment. Stop the digging now. It'll be too late for any redemption once young Gary gets his breath. You really have lost your mind, haven't you, Doctor? You just can't accept the truth that your assistant, me, was too brilliant even for you. I've never confused brilliance with greed and jealousy, Kimball. Who's really jealous here, Doctor? Let me see. I found the hieroglyphics first. I decoded them first. There were more writings in that cave that you don't know about. We don't know what will happen. Escort this old man out of here. Now. Yes. Ah. Heed my warning or we're all doomed. Don't you think you were a little hard on him, Professor? I'm sorry you had to witness that, Holly. He's an old man without vision. What's going on? No problem. Just an old friend stopping by. You better get some rest, Mr. Black. We got a big day tomorrow. Black, have you lost your mind? If I lost my mind, whoa, what are you? Give me my camera. Give me my camera back. Bad press isn't going to do either of us any good. And from now on, you only photograph what I tell you to photograph. Holly, how did you let this happen? I'm sorry, Professor. They were working the late shift. No one saw or heard anything. Here we go. Here's the culprit. It's just an electrical mishap. Dispose of these bodies and get back to work. Wait a minute, Professor. What now, Holly? Shouldn't we call the authorities? An official investigation has to take place before we can proceed. These men understand the dangers in this business. I mean, this sort of thing happens all the time. To show my gratitude, I will double all your salaries for the remainder of the dig. Gentlemen, we're on the verge of a fantastic discovery. What do you say? Are you with me? All right, guys. You heard it, man. Let's move it. I'd like to see you in private, Holly. Right now? Now. What's gotten into you these days? Do you realize what's at stake here? If that gets out to the authorities, the stick is over. Something just doesn't seem right. That was the third so-called accident this week. I'm disappointed, Holly. I thought you wanted this as much as me. I do, Professor, but how can you justify the sacrifice of so many lives? Everything has a price, Holly. Think about what's important. Fame and fortune, or obscurity. Leave if you want to leave. But this dig goes on no matter what the cost. The decision's yours.
Affirmative, General. We've lost communications with the Omega-2. That's a pretty damned expensive piece of equipment to lose, Captain. What happened? We have a report of receiving a strange signal, sir. Also, there have been reports that two satellites in the vicinity are also missing. Missing? Soldier, you just don't lose two satellites in a shuttle like it's a two-dollar crap game! All right, gentlemen. Go to red alert, switch to airwave transmissions for any further communication. Let's get this taken care of quickly, boys. You're a lucky man, but oh boy. You're gonna be famous when this is all over. Oh yeah, well, fame doesn't pay the bills, you know. That's true. But did you ever know any famous poor people? Hell, you might even win the Pulitzer if you play it smart. Pulitzer? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I never thought about that. I mean, I mean, really, I just kind of think of myself as a tabloid photographer, let alone Newsweek. Pulitzer. All right. Pulitzer. <sighs> Stand. Our primitive technology has detected our craft. We must commence the invasion now. No! They are powerless to stop us. Resume reanimation. Sure as hell ain't Russian. No, sir. It's alien. Speaking of news. Can you tell me about this Hughes dude? Good old Dr. Hughes. Once he was a great leader in our field, but he just, um... Well, let's just say we had our differences. Okay. Oh, what about your sidekick there, Miss Personality? Holly. Yeah, Holly, what's her story? She's no longer with us. What do you mean, she got killed too? She left the team earlier today. Oh, <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Look, I gave this story to you, Mr. Black. I could have given it to anyone. You're gonna get everything you want. All you have to do is follow my rules. Yeah, I capish. Such a pity. Did you know that carelessness accounts for 90% of all work-related accidents? These photographs aren't gonna do either of us any good, are they, Mr. Black? Do you want me to do a story or not, Dr. Campbell? I'm a photojournalist! To do a story, I take photographs! Like I said before, if you want this story, you better play by my rules. And give me a hand with this. Here you go. Thanks. That way? Mm-hmm. Professor! Professor! What is it? 
We've got to be problem, sir. What now? Is the fossil? There's been some kind of transformation. The bones are coming together as if they're alive. What are you talking about? It's growing fangs. And on top of that, we found another body. That's impossible. We disposed. Never mind. Let's go. Damn. Who's next, Campbell? How many lives will it take? It was an accident. Hear me? Just like the others. Now get rid of that. Okay, then. Whoever wants to leave can leave. But don't forget that you're all illegals, and I'll report every damn last one of you! Come on, guys, let's go. I think he's losing his mind. Just strange things kept happening. Weird accidents. Professor, do you remember Dr. Wendell Hughes, right? Yeah, I thought he was dead, too. Well, he mysteriously shows up at the excavation site last night. Campbell got all crazy and kicked him out. It's just nuts out there. Professor, I'd like to come back to the university. Accept your job offer if it's still available. Great. I'll be speaking to you soon, then. Bye. Who is it? Who is it? Your blankets? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Here. Thank you. Hey, I'm starving. Can I grab a bite to eat around here? Um, bar? OK. So, how's Ellen? I don't want to talk about it. Mmm, really? Well, I heard you two broke up. I heard that she's off with some stud in Palmdale. I said I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Hi there. Can I get you something? Hot coffee and a chicken sandwich. So, uh, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Nope, just passing through. I'm Holly. Oh, hi, Holly. Sarah Sanders. Oh, I've got to tell you, Sarah, it's nice to see another girl's face. I've been surrounded by male testosterone for way too long. And that's a problem? <laughs> Girl, around this place, you find yourself a man's like, uh, win the lottery. It's slim to none. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can assure you, working with a bunch of sweaty bone diggers is no picnic either. You work on an excavation site. Wow. I've heard some stories about that place. Stories? Well, some of them workers, they come in here, they start talking about some crazy scientist, talking about some people getting hurt. So, is it true? Dr. Hughes? Hello, Holly. I suppose I should be surprised to see you. May we talk? Look, Doctor, if it's about the dig, I quit today. It's over for me. I'm finished. I know that. That's why I'm here. Please, if I may have two moments of your time. Hey, Holly. Is he bothering you? No, it's fine. OK, Doctor, talk. In private. Contrary to what Campbell may have told you, I am not crazy. I didn't say you were. I said I quit the dig, that's all. All right, listen to me, Holly. Campbell must be stopped. What's to be stopped? Well, where the hell have you been, anyway? I mean, let's review. Dr. Wendell Hughes, world-famous paleontologist, mysteriously disappears two years, presumed dead. Sound familiar? All right, you want the truth? Here's the God's honest truth. 
I was on a dig in Southeast Asia when I befriended an old man, the shaman of the local village. He told me a story about a sacred cave that had ancient writings all over the walls, and he told me about the legend. The legend? The legend of young Gary, a giant dinosaur, the first one of its kind, buried there millions of years ago that one day would rise again from the dead and destroy the world. To be honest, I think both you and Campbell are nuts, and I'd love to listen to more of your fairy tales, but I'm tired. Please listen to me. Let go of me. I need your help. I found something else in that cave, a fossil, the remains of an alien species. An alien? Do I look stupid to you, Doctor? I mean, do you really expect me to believe you? All right, then tell me about Campbell. What's he doing out there? And is there any strange occurrences around the bones? Yeah, some accidents. Workers killed. I knew it. I knew it. Look. I agree that Campbell's a self-centered egomaniac, but I'm a scientist. I need proof, not ghost stories. All right. But not here. Someone following you? I don't know, but I... Please, let's go somewhere home. More secret. How you doing out here, buddy? You about done? Yeah, pretty close. Empty welder. Yeah, I'll be right with you. Hold on a second. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How the hell are you? You're looking good. good. But now tell me what the bad news is. Why do you say that? Because it's the only reason you ever come to see me. We got an emergency. We've intercepted an alien spacecraft. It's already attacked twice. I don't know about you, but I don't remember reading anything in the handbook about stopping pissed off aliens. These are the hieroglyphics I found with the alien fossil. Did Campbell ever show you writings similar to this? No, never. And you still haven't proven anything. You found some archaic writings uh, some caveman left on his wall. That's happened before. The pyramids in Egypt, the Mayans in South America. But this is different, Holly. This is apocalyptic. A great light will appear from the heavens, and the great dinosaur will gasp the breath of life. So now you're telling me the fossil is coming back to life? That's my fear, yes. OK, Doctor, so why me? I mean, if you're so sure of these events, why not go to the police? Or better yet, the government? Holly, that's where I've been the last two years as a guest of the United States government. What? Well, like you, they didn't believe me. And they were too busy studying an alien fossil to worry about stopping a giant prehistoric monster resurrecting. Look, Doctor, I'd love to believe you, but I don't. All right, then read this. DNA analysis, non-carbon base organism with unknown genetic makeup. Bone structure unknown, classification, non-human, non-animal. Carbon dating results, specimen fossilized 220 to 250 million years ago. They're coming back, Holly. I can feel it. And it's somehow connected with Campbell and those bones. I've got to stop him, Holly. If I'm wrong, I'm just a foolish old man. But if I'm right, I've got to stop Campbell. Hey, no offense, Doc, but I uh, hope you're as crazy as you sound. Me too. This is too weird. I got this crazy ass control freak professor, a fanatic old man that should be doing tours in a museum somewhere, a cute bitchy chick, more dead bodies in a Tarantino flick, and a 200 million year old big ass lizard. Why the worried look, Mr. Black? 
In a few hours, we'll be heroes. And you'll be the first to record mankind's greatest discovery. You know, Doc, it seems like fame and fortune has a really high price to pay around here. Bud, I've had a good feeling about you since the first time we met. We're a lot alike. We both know what we want, and we'll stop at nothing to get it. Professor, we've uncovered the remaining bones. Now, Mr. Black, take your pictures and let the whole world see. we're too late. You're absolutely right, Doctor. Take a good look at my masterpiece. Do you have any idea what you have done? located the target area, sir. Where? 40 miles due east of here. Headquarters said it's in the vicinity of some excavation site. There may be casualties. Check it out. You're in charge. Lieutenant, secure the area. Yes, sir. Move out!
General. I'm sorry I got here as fast as I could. Damn governor's ball. I understand we're under attack. That's right, Jack. You're not going to believe this. It's an alien craft, hostile. It's already knocked out two communication satellites and a NASA shuttle just in the last couple of hours. Never seen anything like it. Have you considered a preemptive strike? Negative, Jack. Not until we have more data. Well, that's quite a story, Doctor. So I've got to go back and tell my commander that we've got a giant 200 million year old dinosaur on the loose. And on top of that, he vanishes into thin air when struck by a light from outer space. All right, if it does exist, and that's a big if, Doctor, how do we stop it? I'm not sure, but if that thing gets to the city, we're all doomed. The doctor's right. That monster will destroy a city the size of New York like a house of cards. Captain! Captain! You should take a look at this, sir. How the hell am I gonna explain this? Boom, boom. Thanks for coming. Don Hall, Jack Thomas, you know each other, right? You bet. How you doing, Jack? Fine, I hope. Good to see you, Don. General, I brought you two of our finest. Special Task Force Sergeants Romiski and Michaels. What's your objective, Romiski? Kill the enemy and break their toys, sir. Good answer. Dismissed. Yes, yes sir. sir. General, radar's picked up several, possibly 20 smaller crafts surrounding the ship. Sounds like an attack force. Apparently so. We've also received word Captain Parker has located their attack site. Okay, gentlemen, I want to get the situation under control. Parker needs backup. Get him a chopper unit. Yes, sir. What do you got here? Bravo Company, Bravo Company, this is General Thomas requesting immediate air support. Repeat, immediate air support. Do you copy? Excuse me, General Murdoch. Crafts moving again. Over the Nevada, California border, tracking due west. Get hold of Parker. Give them the new position. Yes, sir. Choppers are airborne, sir. Good. War room. They want to fight, they got it. Alpha One, Alpha One, this is base. The invasion force is ready. All the Lexian troops are prepared for duty. Acknowledged. Soon the Earth will be defeated. Centauri has identified the transmission from the homing device. Dispatch young Garrett. We must retrieve the data. Where are you taking us, Sergeant? Oh, that's top secret, Doc. Orders from the pretty boy. Excuse me? Captain Parker. His grandfather was a two-star general. So he went to West Point, and I went to the Gulf War. It's that legacy crap that helps the climbing rank around here. But honestly, that guy just doesn't know his butt from a hole in the ground. I was thinking the same thing myself. Yeah, boy, you sure got him spooked. How'd you do that anyway? Do what? Oh, come on, dig that hole. You know, I've seen some really crazy stuff before, but that footprint, <laughs> that took the cake. I'm afraid that footprint was very real, Sergeant. I'm sure it is. Hey, I guess we got another Roswell on our hands, huh, Doc? You know, like they do in those TV shows? Make aliens look like they've landed in those cornfields. Yeah, believe ya. So what do we do now, Doctor? Well, we decode this. It contains the rest of the hieroglyphics. So if you knew this was going to happen, why didn't you try to find Campbell sooner? I can't say now. Hey, Doc, I was just playing with you. Anything in this Jeep is kept top secret. I promise you that. That's my word. Well, when I gave the parcel to the NSIA, they classified it, which meant I was classified. So I couldn't take the chance of leaving there without knowing that all the information I had was correct. So they concocted the story about you being lost, dead. Yes, that's part of the cover-up. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Jeez almighty. What is that? That's your imagination, Sergeant. I can't see, where is it? 
be fine. Oh, it's so big. And it's ugly, too. Jesus! Oh, oh, it's looking right at us. We gotta get the hell out of here. Are you crazy, Sergeant? That thing will smash that jeep like a fuck out of windshield. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, I don't think it's in the mood to negotiate. Are all soldiers as brave as you in the face of danger, Sergeant? Ah, the hell with you two. I ain't sticking around to be a midnight snack. You gotta be kidding me. Don't shoot. Don't worry, Doc. I'm gonna try to shoot him between the eyes. You shoot that gun, we're all dead. It's amazing. Look at its skin. Stay right there, Holly. Do you smell it, Doctor? It smells so... old. Don't move, Holly. It reacts to motion. Oh, we'll see how it reacts to a mouthful of lead. No, don't do it. Wait. Listen. Bravo, leader to flight. Approaching checkpoint 10. Keep it tight and watch the deck. Bravo, flight to control. Bravo, flight to control. Have arrived at checkpoint. Coordinates, Victor, Mike, 77.6. We have no visual. Repeat, no visual. Copy coordinates, Bravo. Company, you're on radar. It's the cavalry! Come on, get in the jeep! Roger that. 10-4. Oh, oh, I can't believe what just happened. Hey, Doc. I'm really sorry for doubting you. I hope those choppers can stop it. Base, we have a visual on the target. Roger that. Target in sight. Repeat transmission, Bravo. You're breaking up. I said he's damn ugly. Commander, going in for a closer look. Roger that. Okay, boys. Lay down some cover fire. Locked in. On target. Fire. Come in, Bravo. Lock your missile targeting. Blast him! Fire! 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 Missed him. The target remains mobile. Choppers. Four's down, then goes seven, three, eight. What the hell is going on out there? Fire! Die, you bastard! Let's spread out, guys. Watch out for the fireball. Bravo, this is base. Damn it, we just can't stop the monster. Bravo, team, break off, break off. Yeah, okay, I got it. What do you got, soldier? Bravo Company has reported intercepting a creature. Craft, have they landed? No, sir. 
Bradwell says it's some sort of large monster. It is time to dematerialize young Gary. <laughs> Target has vanished from radar. Vanished? Look, I want a sensible explanation, and I want it now. Radar confirmed eight choppers down, General. Find out what the hell happened to my choppers. Can I have a word with you, sir? Don, we just got our butt kicked back there. OK, what is it? man there says he's from the NSIA, some government space agency. What does he want? Says he has information about the spacecraft. OK, let's go. I'm afraid I never heard of it, Mr. Mills. No, sir, you wouldn't have. We're a level five classified government agency specializing in alien encounters. I'm not even sure the White House knows we exist. General Howell says you have special knowledge about the alien craft. Yes, sir. About. Two years ago, a doctor, a paleontologist, came to us with scientific evidence that an advanced alien species visited this planet over 200 million years ago. It's all right here, everything you need. Physical data, medical analysis, photos, the works. How long, Mills? Just how long have you known something like this could happen? between our research time and uh, an educated guess, about six months. Six months? You know about this for six months and you didn't inform us? Wait, wait. Hold on just a minute now. Look. This is considered a matter discussed on a need-to-know basis only. What would the military have done, anyway? Send some shuttles up there to intercept them, to... Uh, to head them off and blow them out of the sky? Or, uh, or build a, a world defense system to uh, fight off some aliens that might come back to the Earth, perhaps someday in the next billion years? Gentlemen, let's be realistic here. The military brass would have laughed us out of town. OK, point taken. How do we stop it? That's a tricky question. You see, some vital information that holds the key has been taken from our lab. We're tracking it down as I speak. I will say this. We must do everything in our power to capture these aliens alive. <laughs> yeah, you must be crazy. We're taking these mothers out. Alive's the last thing I give a damn about. General, the craft has immobilized, hovering directly above the city. Ground troops, General? Yes, at once. Stick around, Mills. We might need you. Picking up the same thing? Yes, sir. Jack. Satellite communication's been reestablished, General. We're getting radar coordinates now. What the hell was that? Whoa, something just hit the atmosphere. Well, what the hell was it? Uh, electronic particles, some kind of light force, sir. Satellite coordinates locked in. Hey, Smitty, you got that? I got contact. Visual feed in. Three, two, one. What in the name of heaven? Son of a... Oh, my God. Hughes was right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Nothing. Mills, you knew about that alien craft. What do you know about this thing? I don't know, I swear. Destroy the satellite. I've lost communication. 
Yeah, me too. We've lost visual, General. General, target located. It's in the city, sir. Colonel, what the hell's going on out there? General Murdoch, Sergeant Archie reporting for duty, sir. This is Dr. Hughes and Holly Davis. Captain Parker sent them. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same question, doctor. You two know each other? General Dr. Hughes is the paleontologist I told you about. He stole information from our lab and then disappeared. No, I told you this could happen. What? Rantings about a prehistoric monster and the end of the world? You're wrong, Mills. The hieroglyphics were a warning, and you chose to ignore them. General, I have the information right here, if we can decode this. That disc belongs to the agency. Whoa, Slick. I want that disc. General, it's destroying the city. <laughs> Check. Get a mayor support. Yes, sir. Eagle Company, this is General Thomas. It's a go. Scramble the F-16s from El Toro. Close order. Precision formation. Get them in the show. Mills. Mills! Where do you think you're going? You do not have authority over me. I take my orders from the president. That means you take your orders from me. Let me out of here. Sergeant Archie. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. My pleasure, General. Come on. Let's go, Sergeant. Grab him. Grab him. Flight, you are clear for immediate takeoff. Climb to angle five zero. Viper strike lead, proceed to contact point on status. Whistle, Lima seven. It's showtime. Roger that tower. The birds are en route, General. Flight leaders take point. Keep it wire tight, gentlemen. Wipers going bangs out.
Taking target. Flight one, arm missiles. Prepare to engage. Roger that, Cap. I'm red and free. This is it, Vipers. Be advised. Watch the collateral damage. I've got a viz, tone, and lock. Negative impact. Let's go again, Vipers. Form up. Flight two going low. Commencing run. I've got him, Viper 3. I have lock. Damn it. How could we miss? I got him. Bullets away. Flight 2, connecting hot run. Fire! Three planes just fell off my screen. Damn! He got Mad Dog! Switching to guns! Yes, Mr. President, I understand your position. May I request a little more time? Getting hits. Switch to Lima's. Switching to Sidewinders. Viper 3, come in. Archie! Watch it stop now before there's any further damage. <laughs> Easy for him to say. We've got five hours to stop it. If not, he's gonna drop the bomb. Nuke him? <laughs> General, if we drop the bomb in a major metropolitan area, the collateral damage will be... significant. I know, but we have our orders. I've got good tone. Box two. Lights form on me. We're going in again. Viper 2, what's your weapon status? One AMRAM left, Captain. Viper 5, status. Stand by, Captain. No missiles left. Roger, Viper 5. Take point. You're the decoy. I'm your rabbit. General, we lost 916s. AWACS reported a force field around the monster that jammed the target acquisition systems. All our missiles were deflected. Ah, uh, damn. Doesn't the thing have any weaknesses? Perfect fighting machine. 
Okay, Doctor, I hope this program works. Thanks. Is there a code word? Yeah. Daddy loves E.T. You're kidding. <laughs> Daddy loves E.T. At least our government has a sense of humor. Good. It's decoding. The great dinosaur will be given flesh and blood from the heavens. And his wrath will be cast upon the entire world. And this creature called man will be destroyed by his own intelligence. What intelligence? What's the evacuation status? Uh, the commercial buildings are empty. The residential areas are being evacuated now. OK, what are the alternatives? Well, we need a way to penetrate the force field. What about Project T, that new laser technology you guys have developed? No, it's still in production, and the jetpacks haven't passed the final safety Is test. Is it operational? Yes, sir, but I must advise of the danger. Get your T-forces ready, Jack. Yes, sir. I'll assume full responsibility. Don, get Hughes in here. Hughes. No, give me Hughes. Dr. Hughes. Once every living thing is destroyed, they will be given new life. They? The aliens. Yes, it's all quite obvious now. The alien craft is using young Gary as a pawn, as a tool to destroy the Earth. OK, so they must be controlling him somehow. The dinosaur will raise his head, and the daemon will glow like fire. The daemon? Where did you find this, Doctor? Well, in the cave with the alien fossil. Daemon. Diamond. It's diamond, Doctor. And you I'd seen this somewhere before. I drew it at the dig site, young Gary's forehead. The shape. You're right. That's it. The daemon will be destroyed, and another great light will be sent to do battle. Another great light? That's all the information we have. General, I spoke with Parker. T-forces are on standby, ready for combat. Good. Good. Well, Jack, uh, what's your assessment? What are the odds of our stopping this thing? No BS. Well, if I were in Vegas and a betting man, 30-70, 40-60 at best. So you have to be that honest. But then again, we're not exactly in Vegas, are we? We're going to win, George, one way or the other. It's on the run again, sir. Coordinates locked, tracking on radar. Rominski, advise Alpha of current coordinates. I want T-forces in the air. Lord help us. Load it up, man. All right, man. I want you to know that the fate of all mankind rests on our shoulders. Your family, your friends, your country, the whole world. I want you sharp and proud out there. Remember, you're rangers. You were born for this day. Any questions? What is it, Lewis? I'm sorry, sir. I request to be removed from this operation. I don't think I can handle it, sir. What? You're a trained soldier, damn it. What do you mean you can't handle it? I'm afraid, sir. Afraid? What's your responsibility, soldier? Hellraiser, sir. Who else is qualified to handle the Hellraiser? I'll volunteer, sir. Well, that's not your area of expertise, O'Neill. I study the design. I know the logistics, sir. That's a negative, Lieutenant. 
I'm requesting this post, sir. Besides, I don't think you have any other choice, sir. Gear up, Lieutenant. General. Any progress, Doctor? Yes, General. We've decoded the disk, and we were right. Young Gary was sent by the alien craft to destroy the entire planet. General, we got it back. And apparently it's stationary and hovering again. Current coordinates. Longitude 45.18.7, latitude 33.22.6, sir. General, it's the Gleason plant. What kind of plant? Nuclear power plant, doctor. That's it, nuclear power. Radiation, it'll destroy every living thing. Based to Special T, we've made contact. Redirect to following coordinates. Roger, Control. I copy your redirect. Target has been located. Ten seconds to drop. Jumpmaster, you are green to go. Group to two, on my mark. Go! Go! is a pussy. Arthur Wilson, take the left flank. Dell and Rudy, take the right. Grissom and Baloo, circle from behind. O'Neill, you and that Hellraiser, stay with me. Move out! Damon, the device the aliens are using to control young Gary with. It's a receptor embedded in his forehead. Has it been analyzed, broken down? <laughs> You'd have to ask Mills that. That information has been classified. Jackson, get Mills in here. General, if we can get those T-forces within range... They could knock out the device. Is that true, Doctor? That's logical, yes. I've got Parker on the line, sir. Listen carefully, Parker. Aim for the diamond shape on a creature's forehead. General, it just dropped off radar again. Well, that proves a theory, General. It disappeared when they aimed at the Daemon. What do you know about this? I've never seen it before. I've had enough of you, Mills. <laughs> Listen, you start talking or I swear you're gonna wish you were never born onto God's green earth. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so talk! <laughs> we, we ran an analysis. It, it was inconclusive. Uh, aside from basic hydrogen molecules, it's a, a, a non-carbon molecular structure unlike anything we've ever seen. That's all I know, I swear. That doesn't solve the problem, General. We still need a way to track it. Right. The craft is tracking it by an energy beam. That beam should generate heat, right, Doctor? Yes, that's true. Then infrared will pick it up. Contact Parker, tell him to switch to infrared. Yes, sir. Alpha, Alpha, this is base. Redirect, switch to infrared, copy. Switch to infrared tracking, over. Scour the area for target. I've got a reading. He's heading 36. Six degrees northeast. 
Roger, Alpha Company, copy that report. We've just received word. It's reverse direction headed back to the city. Jack, deploy every available fighter you have to that area. Right. Sir, it's the president. Hello, sir. This is General Murdoch. Uh, no, sir, we haven't stopped it yet. Yes, sir. I understand. You'll have our full support. I guess good news is out of the question. Oh, the uh, president has given the command. The bomber's been deployed. This is Alpha One, over. Mr. Baker, it's Mills. Yeah, the president just gave the order. They're going to destroy it. Right. They destroy the monster, the craft comes down to Earth, and we get our aliens. <laughs> Target in sight! You're welcome. It's time you were returned to history. Come on! Fight! target. A 
I'm locked on target. This is our last chance, Eagles. This is Alpha One. Abort mission. Target's in sight. I've got good tone. Fox Two. Are you crazy? Terminate mission! Let's blow that thing to kingdom calm. Missiles away. just save those people. He's on our side, General. You must call off this attack. General, you've got to destroy it. It's a killer, plain and simple. Why are you so interested all of a sudden? What's in it for you? I know I've made some mistakes. I'm just trying to make amends. Yeah, I bet you are. Jack, put your jets on standby. Don, get me the president. Eagle One, Eagle One, this is Command Base. Stand down until further ordered. Repeat, stand down. Do you copy? Acknowledge. Roger, Control. Acknowledge, stand down. Flight, form up on me. Too close. Comfort. That's right, Mr. President. We have the creature under control. I'd like more time to evaluate the situation. The pendant is lost. We must not be defeated. No, but we can no longer control young Gary. Correct. Therefore, we must implement the final plan. Activate Cyclor. General, another beam just appeared on radar. communication. Smitty, what the hell's going on? I don't know, we're being jammed. Well, get us back up! All systems are down. Is it coming from the craft? No, it's local. Wait, this should help. Bravo 2 to base. Target is down, target is down. Do you read? Bravo 2 to base. It's emitting from this room. It's coming from there. Mills, I should have known. He's calling this off, General. I want that creature dead. Why do you want it dead? Stay back, Hal. This thing is locked. I smash it, you never get your screens back. We're just trying to save lives here. <laughs> I want out of here. This guy's a fruitcake. You know I can't let you out of here with that device. The clock's ticking, General. I swear I'll smash it to bits. He's bluffing. I can't take the chance. I give you the code numbers. You give me the device. You got my word on it. I'm out of here, and we all take our chances. He's lying, General. You can't fall for that. I have no choice. OK, the code numbers are seven, four, Five. 
Give it to me. Give it to me. Nice doing business with you, gentlemen. Hey, where are you going? Got it! Come on, come here. Get up here. Come on, you little freak. Pick him away, Sergeant Archie. My pleasure, sir. General, we're back online. We got contact. Damn. This place is turning into a freaking prehistoric petting zoo. <laughs> Coordinates locked, target on radar. General, it's in the city. Damn. We're hooked in, General. What in heaven is that thing? If that thing were any meaner, I'd swear it was my wife. Come on! This was not in the code, Doctor. Y yes, yes it was. Remember the hieroglyphics? Another great light would appear to do battle.
Something's back! Man, this is totally insane! Did the damn thing die already? General, we have a kill. Yes, Holly, it's all over. It's not over yet. The bomber's on radar, five miles from target. We've got to contact that pilot. Do it! We're patching in. Beta-1 to control, Beta-1 to control. Target is acquired. Beta-1's a click from drop point and closing fast. Beta-1, Beta-1, come in. Beta-1 to control. Have received and confirmed drop codes. Initializing bomb run. Beta 1. Bomb status is hot. Opening bomb bay doors. Give the order! Beta 1, this is command base. Transmitting abort code. Control, you are breaking up. Repeat transmission. Rendezvous in T minus 9, 8. Seven, Repeat. Six, Tango, five, Delta, Omega, four, abort. Three, two, one. from the craft, General. Young Terry has terminated Psychor's life force. We have lost. Correct. Young Gary has allowed mankind to defeat us. No. Earth will be defeated when we return. We must escape before Young Gary discovers his true strength. Acknowledge. I am activating Megadrive. Stand by. Three, two, one. It's gone, sir. It, it just shot off radar at light speed. Ha! Ran them out of the galaxy. Kicked their mother... We get the idea, Boom Boom. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. The entire world appreciates everything that you've done. Thank you, General. But young Gary should be given the credit. He's the one that turned it around. Saved us all. You did darn good, Holly. Thank you, sir. Look. Where are they taking you? To a big, deserted island. Thought he'd need some space to adapt to the 21st century. After all, young Gary hasn't seen this place for, what, 200 million years? <laughs> 